A very good morning to you. This is a tech guru where we look at all things technical. Today we're going to be looking at Windscribe and how to install and set it up on your Windows PC. This video will essentially guide you through the step by step process so that by the end of this video you'll have Windscribe installed on your PC so you can protect yourselves when using public or open Wi Fi networks such as your personal data, browsing activity, and more. We'll also be looking at where you can get further help if you need it should you have problems installing or setting up on your Windows PC today so we'll cover that towards the end of the video. There are also other browsers which Windscribe works on which may be of interest to you but we'll cover that at the end briefly. So let's jump into the detail now. Okay so if we go onto the web using a trusted internet connection to download the software which we're going to demonstrate shortly. If we type windscribe.com Okay, so browser web problem is meant to be. So what we need to do is download Windscribe. So if we click on that, now it obviously detects the browser that you're using. You can download it for Chrome and Windows. Today we're going to use it for Windows because uh, I don't always use Chrome. So let's go to Windows and you'll see the installer coming, appearing on the screen here. So if we double click that, Windscribe VPN, it's an exe file do you want to allow the app to make changes to your computer just make sure obviously you're happy with that before selecting yes and it will take you through the process and it now comes up with setup so choose the type of installation you can do a custom install if you know exactly what you're doing but it recommends it express install so if we just click on next it's obviously extracting all the files to your computer so just let that do its thing it's normally pretty quick when it does this. Okay, so nearly there, creating a shortcut. Okay, so setup is finished. Installing Windscribe on your computer. Click finish to setup, exit setup. So see we've got to run Windscribe, which does automatically. So if you finish that there, do you already have an account? So if we click no, and obviously if you do have an account, you can log in. But basically, as you can see here, sign up for free. Okay, so we're now going to create the account. So you can obviously log in there again, as I said, if you've got an account already, but for the purposes today, we're just creating a new account. So let's create username. Let's call it test user 1340. Okay, you can randomly generate a username, but I don't really like that very much. And you can create a generate a random password so again you can do that but for the purposes of today we'll actually do our own just take a minute or two to complete and then you can put your email address it is optional but i like to do this because it actually keeps me in touch with what's going on in the account so once all that's complete you literally create an account there you go and it gives you an overview of the account so the username at the top you've got the member date the email address which you're using the password and the account status here which gives you an update in terms of how much data you get you have to confirm your email address to get 10 gigabytes of data per month which is fairly generous so we'll go and demonstrate at the moment it just tells you when the next reset date is and the bandwidth usage just before we actually go on to confirm our email we're going to have a very quick look at the account features and options available so firstly just a quick comment with regard to something called Robert as you can see highlighted at the top of the screen this is an advanced DNS and IP level blocker that works on all your devices as it says there so with the free version which we're installing today you do actually get malware blocking and you can actually create up to three custom rules which basically blocks or whitelists custom domains or IPs so you can enter the domain IP address or network details there but just really wanted to point that out but it tends to be people who have more complex requirements and as you can see there there's also port forwarding and something called scribe force port forwarding requires an upgrade to your account and scribe force is extra which is charged per seat per month but there's not for today but that's just something to sort of point out as well so if so what we need to do is go into our email account and we'll literally confirm it. 
I'm just quickly confirming the email. And by the way, I'm doing this on my mobile phone. So I've confirmed the email now. So if we hit refresh on the computer, we can see that the account status is 10 gigabytes free, which we get and resets every month. Okay, so with the software installed onto the PC, we'll now we'll have a quick look of, around the control panel. So it should have installed Winscribe as an icon on your bottom toolbar and we've just clicked on it. So just a bit about the control panel. If it's grayed out, that generally means that it's not on. Down the left hand side here, you've got different option or choices. So help me preferences, my account, sign out, quit Winscribe. As you'll see here, it gives an indication of how much data you've got left during the particular month. There is a notifications bell here if you want to check them out. Here it gives you options for your different VPNs. So on the free plan, 10 sort of servers. So you've got a selection there, so that shows you. I might set up in a way that it actually suggests the best location. And you've got a firewall setting here, which I make sure is on when I connect. When connecting, I close any existing browsers as it's wise to reopen them, the browsers once the VPN is established rather than keeping them open. I also close any apps that have internet access just in that moment when I actually connected to a public or open Wi-Fi network but not actually connected to the VPN. So in terms of connecting, it's the case of selecting best location or a server which is local to your country. Obviously making sure that you're already connected to the public or open Wi-Fi network. And it's a case of clicking the connect button. So it's on and when it's fully connected, it goes like a strong bright blue. And as you can see here, the firewall's on as well. Important, I make sure that's on because basically if it's not on, it disables all internet connectivity if you're not connected through the network. So I find that really useful. So if we just go to, just go and have a look at what's my IP. It will show you here that the IP address is this particular one through the I, the VPN, which is based in the UK here. So if we go then, let's change it, particularly if you're interested in looking at different servers around the world. So for example, if we go to if we log on to the Canada East server, now that's connected. So if we refresh this particular window, you'll see the IP address will have changed. So there it is. So now it's going through a server in Toronto. So really that's just to demonstrate that the VPN is working. So it's as simple as that really. It's a case of using the on off button here as you can see to toggle on, connected the servers. If it's got a star by it, that means it's not available on the free plan, but like here, there's no star. So you can select those. So Canada, for example, Germany, France. It really depends on what your requirement is. I use it for basic browsing. So when I'm out and about using open Wi-Fi networks and working, I want some protection in place to protect my data and my personal details. So I just use usually log on to my best, the best location server or the server within my country. But that's entirely up to you. So I really wanted to demonstrate today how you actually went about installing and setting up Winscribe windows. Okay, so hopefully that has enabled you to install and set up Winscribe on your Windows computer. Should you have a problem, there is a support section on their website, which you can see here. So you've got things like self-help, so you've got setup guides, you've got frequently asked questions and the knowledge base, which can be quite useful if there's problems in setting up and installing onto your PC, or even if you've got further questions. And there's also a technical support section. So there's some information on Reddit. There's Talk to Gary, which is uh, like an automated system here. So you can ask something on there, although it's fairly limited having used it myself, or you could even submit a ticket to them directly. So if you have any problems, that is something which you could use. And just another point to note is that you've downloaded obviously this for Windows today. However, there are other 
platforms which it works on, as you can see here, Mac and Linux, you can download it on browsers we covered earlier, Chrome, Firefox, etc. So it's quite comprehensive where you can actually download the Windscribe software. So just really wanted to point that out to you in case you've got any other devices that you wanted to, to load it on. Okay, so if you've got any thoughts or comments regarding this video on Windscribe, how to install and set it up on a Windows PC, then leave them below. What part did you find most useful? Again, leave a comment below. It would be great to get feedback from you. And be sure to click on the subscribe button to be the first to hear about further useful tech related videos, whether it's how-to videos like this one, product reviews, etc. in future. And check out the links that are appearing on screen now to other useful videos that we have. We'll catch you on the next video.